I looked into my GitHub account and found a repository which I last committed on March 2022. And this is called Pjoice, just a small project for yet another Linux desktop distro. Very easy installation setup based on Ubuntu, Flatpak and GNOME. And this one is important under construction. So I created a Linux distribution by myself. And in this video, I want to discover it with you what my plans were on this distro, why this one isn't finished, but some parts of it are now available to you in your favorite app store. So I would say, let's start. Yeah, I put you the link into the video description if you want to try it out on your own. Here's a screenshot about it. And the concept of this distribution is PeachOS wants to make Linux accessible for new users for that many applications will be developed. The highlight is on will be developed. <laughs> Spoiler, there isn't any application which was developed for PeachOS, but there were other applications developed. So if you watch my channel for a bit, then you probably know what I mean, but we will get to that point later. And these aim to be as easy as possible. So in this case, PeachOS should be very accessible to all new users and should be very easy. By using Ubuntu as a base, PeachOS will work the widest range of applications. So yeah, we want to use the broad distribution of Ubuntu that as many instructions as possible are working also under PeachOS and is con compatible to one of the most used distro. So yeah, this is basically saying it. Here we have our desktop. I have it live running. Just wait a second. Here we have some unique features. We will look at them later. And here's also a setup and um, we will look to that also in a second. So let us get head to it. Here is the login screen. And uh, here we have a kind of Ubuntu with my user with an other with another color scheme. I type in my password and let's wait for a second. And here we have our PeachOS desktop. <laughs> it looks like in the screenshot. And here you see it's just a vanilla GNOME desktop on top of our normal Ubuntu with some applications with, for example, Firefox, LibreOffice, Calendar, Contacts, GNOME software, Maps and such things. Also in utilities or settings here, this menu also were created by PeachOS. It's Pika Backup. It's a great backup tool in my opinion. I use it also for my personal computers and uh, TimeShift is here, flat seal for and flat seal for permissions of Flatpak. And you see, yeah, this Ubuntu doesn't use Snap. It is using Flatpak. And here we have, for example, our Firefox web browser, which is in this case not using Snap. It is using Flatpak. So yeah, how you gonna install it? We have a small instructions. We have small instructions in our GitHub account. And here we see we have to install the newest Ubuntu LTS version tested for 20.4 and 22.4 and we choose the minimal installation. After we installed the minimal installation of Ubuntu, then we have to install a single .deb file. And after this single .deb file is installed, we only have to run one command and after it, it automatically restarts and then voila, we have our PeachOS available. So yeah, let us just come what this ominous.deb file does, what this install.sh file does. So in here in our repository, we have a Debian file which can be built. So yeah, I would say let's build these files to a complete deb file. I put a instruction to build this deb file on your own into the readme. So I would say, yeah, let's just do it. We have to download and unzip this repository and just have to run some code. So in this case, I click on the code and select download zip. We can also git clone our project and just build our PHOS like this. And after that, we get a PHOS main.zip file. I select extract here. And on this folder, I right click the right space and select open in terminal. 
now I'm gonna run these commands which are standing on the left side. So we are change modding our pchos main script for our post install script. And also we have to set the correct rights for the Debian folder in it. And after that, we can just build our pchos main file and after it, we have a .deb file. So what is in this .deb file? For that, I'm heading over to our repository back again. And here we have on our first uh, folder, the Debian folder. This is holding the control files. Here we have our control file, which defines the deb package. On the other hand, we have our install script, which only holds the folders of the dev file, which are gonna be installed and the root folders, so to say. And in the end, we have our post install script. This only gives execute rights on specific files. And I would say at this moment, I wouldn't do that again. I would just do a sh script to build the complete Debian file in which these commands are standing. And I probably would use this post install file um, for executing this install.sh file, in my opinion. But this project is from March 2022. So I didn't do anything until today on this project. And it was just a test to learn, for example, how to build a Debian package and to get to know to the first steps in Linux administration and distribution management, I would say. So what is in this Debian file? We have two folders, one ETC folder, one USR folder. Let's head into the ETC folder. We are going to, we are heading to XDG and then to auto start, which is only holding one file. And here we have a dot desktop file, which only runs this file initialize gnome desktop dot pi, which is under user lib peach. So let us head over to the USR folder and then to our lib folder and then to our peach folder. Here we have some tools or some scripts in the first step. We have the initialized GNOME desktop. This does the manipulation of the GNOME desktop. For example, the background or the apps to hide the apps to set as favorites or the apps as utilities. And um, then I'm doing a bit GNOME and I think dconf or gconf magic. And uh, I think that and I think that took a lot of time because this isn't nice fulfilled because this isn't nice implemented in GNOME. Um, the only desktop which is, in my opinion, good to tweak by code is, in my opinion, XFCE. I'm remembering I didn't like that at all. And um, also some projects later, I also had to manipulate something in the desktop. And this was always hard, hard pain. <laughs> so yeah, this is our desktop.py, which just runs at the beginning of the desktop to give us a smooth, great looking desktop with some tweaks with a cleaned app menu and some other settings, which makes PHOS very nice to use. Also, we have our install.sh script. What are we doing? We are starting from a minimal Ubuntu version, which looks completely different. And in the first case, we are installing the vanilla GNOME desktop. This is a package we get. And then we are purging many packages, for example, GNOME, Mayong, GNOME Mines, GNOME Sudoku, Cheese, GNOME To Do this to do app, um, also the documents view of GNOME, um, GNOME photos, we are also dropping Deja Dupe. This is a backup program for that. We are using Pika backup, which is a great tool in my opinion. Also Rhythmbox we are dropping because I didn't use Rhythmbox at all. Also no GNOME music, GNOME weather. We are also dropping transmission GTK. Um, this is a torrent program, I guess. Then Isleride, the deconf editor, the USB creator GTK, the update manager of Ubuntu, because I don't like it. Then also the completely library office packages 
to just get the library office of, of Flatpak. In my opinion, I wouldn't do that again <laughs> if I um, want to create it. But yeah, I did it in this case. Also Totem, the video player, also Firefox and also the Ubuntu session, the normal Ubuntu desktop we are um, deleting. And um, after that, we only have our vanilla GNOME desktop. After that, I'm installing Flatpak, Celluloid, which is a great video player in my opinion, Time Shift for snapshots and also Vim and HTOP for better usage if you are a power user. Then I'm removing the Firefox and Snap Store bec because I don't like them at any point. And after that, I'm also purchasing MPV. And then we are installing some software, for example, Firefox, LibreOffice, Pika Backup and FlatSeal for better Flatpak management. And in the end, I'm enabling a update service and we are rebooting the whole thing. And the update service is just here to update our system, um, which also sleeps 120 seconds after the start of the computer and then it is running Peach Update with APT Update, Upgrade and Flatpak Update and uninstall the unused ones so that it keeps clean itself. And after that, we also have our updates service file, uh, which yeah, literally starts this update.sh file, which we looked at it some seconds ago. And yeah, this is the whole magic of PeachOS. There isn't anything further on. So we start from a clean Ubuntu and in the end of PeachOS, in my opinion, we get a very clean desktop environment based on Ubuntu. In my opinion, it's still great. I uh, still like it. Yeah, this is the magic from it. But yeah, I said in the beginning in the video, yeah, some features are now living again in another program. And this is where we head over to our unique features, which are very important coming soon. <laughs> they weren't uh, existing at any point of time. But um, I would say on my knowledge, one year or one and a half year, some of these points now exist or are very easily doable by myself because of the knowledge. So a one click installer, you will really need only one click for the full automatic installation. Um, this is no bluff on my German Linux project. I have a German YouTube channel and a German website and I'm also doing some commercial stuff on there. I have a OS here. I let you translate it into our minimal OS with the Firefox translator so you can read it um, because this site is only German. Um, yeah, I created a minimal operating system which has a complete automatic installation. You can download the demo, for example. Uh, please just use this in a virtual machine and then it is using Debian Preseed to install a complete system with everything, but in this case, it is also wanted that this is very minimal. And um, yeah, we get to this one click installation very, very far. And I think we could do it in this case. And uh, let us head over to our repository back again. Also, I want a very easy welcome screen for new users, automatic installation of drivers, automatic maintenance, one click, everything is ready to go and very easy software management. And these three points are fulfilled, not in PeachOS, but in another project from me, which is called linuxassistant.org, which is now officially available in FlatHub. So I can go right into my software manager and let us search for Linux-Assistant. This is a daily helper, for example, with security check, software management, and also a great welcome screen with browser selection, automated setup, and so on. So these three points are now fulfilled. And this project started after PeachOS and the first version of Linux Assistant were on Christmas 2022, I guess, which is, I think, very cool. So yeah, that was it with this video. How do you like PeachOS? Do you think I should do that further on? Or do you say, nah, it is only yet another distribution. Focus your work on something else. Write it me into the comments. And if you have the ability to create your own distro, how would your distro gonna look like? Write into the comments. 
and see you next time. Bye.